Hello Virgo and welcome to your love tarot reading. Okay, so we're going to be finding out what that special someone is really thinking about you, Virgo. Okay, so just take a second and think about this person, Virgo. And let's get a good idea of what it is that they really actually think about you, okay? Okay, let's get into it, Virgo. All right, straight up I'm getting the feeling, whoever this person is, they've been sucking your finances, Virgo, okay? Whoever this person is, they've been taking a lot and they've definitely had you, they definitely think that, that you won't go in a sense, all right? It's kind of like... They're not even cautious really about what they're doing because they feel like you won't walk away, okay? They feel like maybe they're thinking that you need them more than they need you, okay? So, and it's giving them, they think that that's them giving them the right to do what they're doing, okay? And yeah, they're definitely, it's definitely finances and stuff here, Virgo. They also think that you'll just keep carrying the load, okay? So they're under the impression that not only are you not going to go, you know, they're, they're convinced that they've got you, that they've got you under their thumb, all right? And then we're also heading down the path of they think that you'll just keep carrying the weight. They think that you'll just keep being the responsible one. You'll be the rational one. You'll put all the hard work in and that you'll carry them, okay? So it's kind of like this person, Virgo. It's like they're expecting a free ride from you, okay? So... And I, I guess the karmic scales hopefully are going to come out here for you, all right? Let's have a look. Yeah, so right now, Virgo, again, it's pointing to the fact that they've got you feeling stuck, you know. They're, they're convinced that you, you're, you don't have any independence, okay? They're convinced that you need them. All right, they're convinced that you won't be happy and you won't have joy in your life unless you're with them, okay? And that's not true. That's not at all true. You do have joy in your destiny, Virgo, okay? So even though they think like that, don't let them do that. Don't let them suck you and poison you with all this negativity because whoever it is, Virgo, right, they're, they're expecting you to carry all the weight, all right? They don't believe that you've got self-worth in yourself because they're convinced that you're just going to put up with it, that you're just going to keep carrying the load for them. They think that that gives them the right to then go through and take all your finances, to put all the burden on you in a sense, okay? They can be careless and you've got to be the one worrying about it, all right? They're also thinking that, in a sense, they think it's like you get what you deserve. It's like they think that that's your karma in a sense, okay? Um, and, yeah, they think that you can't be liberated from them. They think that your emotional well-being depends on them. They think that your harmony and your joy depends on them, all right? So they feel like they're the center of your universe in a sense, Virgo. And I'm telling you now... That's not true, okay? All right, so what the cards are telling me is they do think all of this. And again, there's all this pressure, right? What what that's telling me is that you do have more of a journey, right? And if you want to dig deep, if you want to use that strength in you, because the feeling I'm getting, Virgo, to be totally honest, it's not a good environment you're with. Whoever this person is, it's not a good environment. It's not a good concoction, all right? Unless you can somehow fix it and get you both on an even balanced harmonious field it's not good for you all right if you do choose to go a different route you're gonna have happiness and success in your way okay you're gonna have your happily ever after it may be a bit of a journey but you will get there in the end right but what you'll need is you'll need strength you'll need to dig deep within you and you'll need to pull on the strength of others around you as well like pull on the strength of your friends and the 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 good positive people in your life they're the ones you need to be drawn to at the moment okay because whoever this person is that you're thinking about Virgo 
they're definitely not any good for your emotional well-being right now, okay? You've just got, like, it's 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 definitely a, a bit of a stuck read for you in a sense, all right? I think that the best way, like I said, the best way forward for you is to really take that time, okay? If you want to be with this person, you need to fix all this because this is dysfunctional, okay? This isn't okay in that sense because you don't need to be going through all this, all right? I'm not saying you have to leave the person, but if you're going to stay, this has to be resolved. If this stays the same, this is no good. This is toxic, okay? But there is that happily ever after coming, all right? Like I said, you're going to need that strength and you're going to need to remember that it's a journey. Whatever you decide to take from this, it's going to put you on a journey. But it's going to put you on a journey to a better place, to a place where your finances are back in control, to a place where you're back in control and your home is happy and harmonious, all right? But right now, that's the main message that I've got coming through. And it's, yeah, it looks like you've all got... Virgo, you've got a few tough decisions to make, all right? Don't rush into them. Take some time. Think about what you want to do. And, yeah, I hope this helps bring you some insight, Virgo.